Arriving at the scene of the crime, it was clear that only one person could solve this mystery. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes, the chemistry sleuth, he loves solving crimes. And seeking the truth, he used the mold, and I know you've heard it's six times ten to the twenty-third. He always goes to the scene of the crime. His powers of deduction are truly sublime. He gathers his samples, takes them back home. Back to his lab where he works all alone. He puts on his goggles and starts doing tests like melting point, boiling point, and all the rest. He uses reagents and looks for reaction. Performs distillation and tests every fraction. Sherlock Holmes, the chemistry sleuth, he loves solving crimes and seeking the truth. He uses the mold, and I know you've heard it. Six times ten to the twenty-third. There are so many calculations to do, so he uses the mold that's six point oh two times ten to the twenty-third power. That's right. He works all day and into the night. Then comes mold day, the perfect time to tell the world who committed the crime. And when he reveals a guilty party, the name, of course, is Moliarty. Sherlock Holmes, the chemistry sleuth, he loves solving crimes and seeking the truth. He used the mold, and I know you've heard it. Six times ten to the twenty-third. Sherlock Holmes, the chemistry sleuth, he loves solving crimes and seeking the truth. He used the mold, and I know you've heard it. Six times ten to the twenty-third. Six times ten to the twenty-third. It's elementary, you know. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen.